Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today we're going to be playing with embossing folders and our new Stampin' Brayer. This is a technique blog hop with the Totally Techniques design team. We are a team of demonstrators all over the world and we're featuring these two items today. So I think everybody's going to have a little different take on how to use these, which is great because I love to get tons of ideas when I'm investing in these products, right? Let's flip the camera around and I will show you what I came up with. We have a new brayer. This came out in our mini catalog and this is called the Stampin' Brayer. This is a silicone roller that provides coverage when applying ink to embossing folders, stamps, and paper. Now, the nice thing about this is that it has resting feet. You can see these resting feet. So when you set it down, it's actually resting on the feet and not on the roller itself. So it'll keep your surface from getting dirty and also from getting any bits that might be on your table, on your roller, so on and so forth. So this rare, this rare, this brayer is actually sold um, on the same page with the Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder. These hybrid folders that you put a die inside of them with your cardstock and die cut scared me at first. I'm like, there is no way that that is not going to mess up things, right? But they really do work and they provide two things at once, embossing and die cutting, which is fantastic. So the first thing I am going to do is show you how I used this. I've got a couple cards that I'm going to share with you today using the brayer, using the embossing folders. I'm also going to be using the fun patterns embossing folders. These are brand new online exclusive products that just came out earlier last week. So I'm excited to be using those. Now, um, first thing I'm going to do I am going to take my Knight of Navy ink pad and I am going to add some ink. Now I am making a Get Well card here. So I have gone ahead and located the Get Well message on my Thoughtful Moments hybrid embossing folder. So I'm going to take my brayer and you wanna definitely pick it up and roll it. If you just roll it like this, you're only gonna get ink on one side of it. So we're picking it up each time. And then I'm going to add that ink right on my get well message. Now, if you wanted to, you could add ink to the entire folder. You always wanna put it on the side that has the Stampin' Up! logo. You could add it to the entire folder and put an entire sheet of cardstock in here and die cut and, and, and add color and emboss all of these sentiments, which is kind of a cool thing to do. But I'm just going to do the get well message here for right now. I've got a scrap of basic white paper. After you get your ink on here, you're going to place your die right in place here and it is going to actually snap into place. And mine just snapped in. You just kind of move it around until you feel it kind of lock in place. Then comes your cardstock. We're gonna close that up and I am going to grab my embossing die cutting machine. Hang tight. Now when we're usually die cutting, we have an extra plate here, okay? We have our big platform, we have our number two plate, and we have our cutting plates. For a 3D embossing folder, which is what this is, we're gonna take all of these items out, and we're going to bring in that specialty plate number four. So I'm gonna set my folder in here, make sure that paper is staying in place and just put that specialty plate on top and run this through. This is a little tight, don't let that scare you. As long as you've done your stacking correctly, you're going to be just fine. And here comes exactly what we were looking for here. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And again, I use Knight of Navy ink here. So the other thing that I need for the cards that I'm gonna make for you today 
is um, Calypso Coral. So I'm gonna grab a baby wipe and I am going to wipe off my embossing folder. Super easy. I'm also going to wipe off my brayer. I don't wanna get blue ink in my Calypso Coral ink pad. Now, of course, if you did a whole sheet of these, you would be set and you could just store them in a little cello bag and use them for all your future Night of Navy, right? Which is probably a really good way to do it. Now I'm gonna bring in my Calypso Coral and I'm going to go through the same process. This time I would like the Oh Happy Day. So again, pick that brayer up, get that ink on there. I would ink this whole thing up if I was doing the entire folder, but I'm just gonna do this Oh Happy Day. Again, I've got another scrap here of basic white. We're going to set our die in place and make sure it pops in there. Add our cardstock, and I'm gonna go through the same process in the embossing machine. And here it comes. Now you can see there's some ink on here. And again, you can take this and rinse it out in your sink. You can wipe it off with a baby wipe. You can do whatever you wanna do with this, but you wanna make sure it's clean every time. The other thing that I wanted to make sure that you know, let me get that out of there first, is that you do not need to add ink to these. They look pretty neat, even without ink. And I'll show you some that I've made. Here is just white, white cardstock. And this was actually um, a little mistake on my part. You guys wanna see what I did? <laughs> I put my ink on the wrong side of the embossing folder. Where did my folder go? Right here. So instead of adding my ink to the side that has the logo on it, I added it over here. And you can see that it put ink on the back, which is not what I was going for. But I thought, well, I can still use all of these because why wouldn't you? They look great. If your words are tighter together, you can actually, I'm just gonna use this for a little plate here. You can actually take your brayer. And I say if the words are closer together, if you have a lot of space in between them, you're gonna get ink everywhere in between your letters. But you can actually do this too and just add ink to the top of your get well instead of the outline of each of the letters. So lots of neat things with the brayer and this hybrid embossing folder. And again, this is called Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder. If you have any questions about any of the products that I am using here today, let me wipe this off too, you can head over to my blog, www.estampabove.com. And at the end of this video, I'm going to have a link in the top right corner up here that's gonna pop up. And it is a link right to my blog where you're gonna find all the details about this specific video and the, and the cards that we're making today. Just makes it a lot easier for people to be able to find like what color ink was that that she used you can go there and all the products are going to be listed you're definitely going to want to whoops i just hit my knee you're definitely going to want to head over there after this video to join the blog hop for sure right to see what everybody else did with brayers and embossing folders so that was the first part of what i'm doing today with the brayer using the brayer with the ink on the hybrid embossing folder Next thing I wanted to do is uh, we've got these brand new fun patterns embossing folders. There are two in a pack and we've got these, let me see if I can get this open, super cute flowers with little uh, like rainbows around them. And then we've also got the diamonds. And I thought this was a great folder to make a masculine card. So I'm gonna take a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. And again, I chose this because it's a good masculine color, right? I am going to emboss half of it. So I'm lining up my cardstock with that line that's provided on 
the front of the embossing folder to make sure that I get it in here straight because this is definitely a pattern that you don't wanna have crooked. I'm gonna run this through my machine, hang tight. And here comes our pattern. I hope you can see that. So what I thought would be really cool here is to add ink to this. And I specifically chose a dark layer of cardstock to do this. I'm gonna bring in my white craft ink. And again, I'm gonna get this brayer loaded up, picking it up each time I push it through the ink. You can see we've got nice ink there. And I'm just going to run this over my embossed pattern. I got a little heavy handed there. Don't worry about that. We're going to add ribbon. So you can see that that this, this brayer is a very hard silicone material and it stayed right on top of the embossed image. And I thought that was a really cool idea. Now, as long as we're here, I'm going to pull in a couple layers for my other card and we can get this done all at once. So I took a piece of three and three quarters by five inch Calypso Coral, and again, put it in my embossing folder about halfway, just like this. I also have a one inch strip that I embossed in the folder. So I ran these through my machine and got the embossing done. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Oops, hang on, I got a little piece of fuzz in my ink pad. I'm gonna do the same thing here to this piece. I'm gonna to try to not get over that edge too much again. Let me keep going here. I'm gonna add just a little bit more white. And you can see how that definitely is very different, right? It really makes those flowers and the rainbow arch pop. This piece is one by four. We're gonna use that on the inside and we're going to add ink to that also. Okay, again, we can clean our brayer. We can take it into the bathroom. I have a bathroom right outside my office or in your kitchen or whatever. You can run this underwater and clean it. Just wipe it off to dry it but I am going to just clean this up and set it right over to the side. Okay, now we're going to continue on with our card. I wanted to close my office door. I just heard my husband come home, so let's uh, close that up. Okay, I think I'm gonna do my Navy card first. I'm bringing in the Knight of Navy bordered ribbon. And I told you not to worry about that little run over that we had there because uh, there's always a way, it's always an opportunity to do something, right? Somebody told me that one time. When you feel like you've made a mistake, don't panic. There's always an opportunity to do something to make it different, better, whatever. So I'm going to grab my tape. And I like to use regular scotch tape, whoops, to fasten my ribbon on the back. I just find that it holds better. And a lot of times people who use tape runners on their ribbon, when I get their cards in swaps and stuff like that, their ribbon starts falling apart and I don't want that to happen. The next thing I brought in is the Comforting Thoughts dies. Now there's two more labels here. We're gonna use those for this card. And then it's also got two more of these round stitched labels. And we're gonna use those for the other card. So I've got those out already. We've also got this leaf and we're gonna be using that for this card. Okay, I took a scrap of Night of Navy and I die cut my smaller label out of that. I've got some vellum cardstock, which is always a go-to for me on layers. I really love using the vellum. I'm gonna die cut this out of that. And then I've just got a scrap of white here. I am going to die cut two of these leaf images out of that. I'll be right back. Okay, we've got these images die cut. I'm going to grab some dimensionals because of course I love dimension. 
and I don't think I'm going to put dimensionals on here. I'm going to save them for my get well. So I'm going to grab mini dimensionals for that. I'm going to make sure that I get it nice and stable on here. It might be a little overkill, but you get a lot of dimensionals on a card. It doesn't matter, right? So I've got that ready to roll. I am going to grab my label. And since I'm putting this on vellum, I'm going to use some mini glue dots. You don't have to. You can use glue, but I want this to not move after I get it on here. And when I was making my sample, um, I was a little anxious to get it done and it moved and it was just annoying. I know mini glue dots will not move. Okay, I'm gonna take this so I can see what's going on here. I'm gonna put that right in here. And that is as stuck as stuck can get, right? Now, I'm going to bring in my liquid glue. I could use mini glue dots here, but I'm gonna tuck these, whoops. A little bit too much glue, don't use too much glue. You don't want it oozing out all over. And I'm just going to tuck in my leaves right on there and a little bit right here. Okay, I'm gonna put this, well, I don't want it underneath. I'm gonna put it right on top. I have a little bit of glue on my finger there that I just wiped on my pants. I know I'm not alone in that whole thing. <laughs> And we're just going to tuck that in right there. So this is what we have so far. Here comes our Get Well. I thought this would be nice as sympathy also. I usually don't like to send florally, flowery cards to men. And so this works out to put the leaves on there. Also sympathy, you could definitely make this um, a sympathy card. There is a sympathy let's see here's a with sympathy here's a with whoops here's a with sympathy that's also in that thoughtful moments hybrid we've got to just because all of these would work great for this card also and I've got many glue dots on the back of my vellum I'm going to bring this in here and place it right down here good grief isn't that cool Quick and easy, comes together really nice. Here comes my card base. I've got 11 by four and a quarter on our basic white thick cardstock. I definitely always use the thick for my card bases. Before we glue anything together, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. I am bringing in the new Comforting Thoughts. This is also an online exclusive product that just came out um, was it last week? Hang on, I'm trying to figure out. A couple weeks ago, let's say that. As well as these embossing folders. So you can only find these in my online store and you're going to look for comforting thoughts or you can go to the online exclusives and see all of them, which is a better idea. I'm going to use the sentiment that says, I hope this is a better, a feeling better kind of day with Night of Navy ink. Just going to put that right in there. Not a lot of pomp and circumstance on this card. Again, it is for, it, it's intended for a man. So I don't want a bunch of foo fun here. <laughs> Does that make sense? Very classy. Here comes our card base. We are going to put some embellishments on here. I have the classic matte dots, which I thought would be perfect. We've got these white dots in here, and I thought that would be the perfect go-to for my man card with all these fun, where did that go? Right here. All these fun embossing folder techniques. I think I'll put one more, maybe, whoops, right down here. I'm using a take your pick tool. Um, this just helps me trying to pick these up with my fingernail, or it's tricky. So here's our first card, okay? We use the hybrid folder and we use another embossing folder called Fun Patterns with the brayer here. The next thing I'm going to show you is this card. So let's get started on that. I've got 
My card base is Sweet Sorbet. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already got that scored at four and a quarter, so we'll get that done. And then I've got a white layer here that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I am going to bring this layer that we embossed and then ran a brayer over to layer on top of this white piece. And again, all those dimensions will also be found at the link that I'm going to share with you at the end of this video. So you can recreate these cards if you would like with ease. Okay. And ribbon. We've got our bordered ribbon in sweet sorbet and white. And I thought that would work out perfect here. And we'll put that on the same way we put the navy bordered ribbon on our card. The other card is a tall card. This one is a wide card. My friend Barb calls those hot dogs or hamburgers. This is our hamburger. I could have left a little bit more on here. Let's make sure I get that pinned down good. Okay, so we've got this happening. We can put this right on the front of our card. I just heard my husband come home. He has been out shopping for garage stuff, I think. For those of you that may be new, we had our garage burned down last year and it is completely rebuilt or a new one is built and now he has to fill it up with all of his man stuff. All right, I said that I was going to be using um, these labels and again, these are from the Comforting Thoughts set of dies. This is the second and third from the smallest. And I die cut, let's see, I die cut, the big one is the white, and I've got Sweet Sorbet here. By the way, this is Calypso Coral. I don't know if I said that. And Sweet Sorbet for these two. And I have those done here. So what I'm gonna do with them is I'm just going to layer them together. So let's get a little bit of glue on here. There we go. Here comes my Oh Happy Day that we did earlier. We're gonna add some dimensionals to that. I just love how easy these embossed die cut words are. You don't need a lot more to make a card. I'm gonna wait to put that on until I get this on my card. We'll see, do we want it to go this way? Do we want it to go this way? I think we'll do it this way. I'm gonna put that right over here. Just like this. And then we're gonna add this in here. Get my words on here straight. That looks good. And once I got this on here, I thought, huh, I need just a little something else. Well, that's when I brought in the paper butterfly accents. And these are super fun. These are die cut laser butterflies you get 40 of them there's sheet after sheet after sheet in here of various sizes so i am going to grab this one right here you can see they come right out of there you can color these you can do all kinds of stuff you can use them either side and these are really fun what i did with mine is i just took and put a little bit of glue on the back Let's see if i can get my glue to come out now there we go. Hang on, I don't want too much glue. And I'm going to set that right down here on my card front. And I'm gonna bring in rhinestones for this card. So here comes, I'll put one right in the middle and then another one and another one. Now, if you wanted to, you could put rhinestones in the middle of each one of these flowers. I did that on my sample and I'll show you that in just a second. We have to do our inside. That's what this little strip is for. I decided this would look really nice on the inside of our card and my front says, oh, happy day. That's gonna be a nice all occasion card that I can write any kind of a note in or 
I can stamp a happy birthday in there when I get ready to use it, whatever works. At the time, I decided not to put a sentiment in, but I definitely wanted to add a little something to the inside. So I'm gonna do that. Here is our pretty little card. Let me, let me bring in this one. This one has the rhinestones. Oh, I forgot to tie a little thing there. Hang on, where'd the ribbon go? Right here. I'm gonna tie a little something up there. We're just gonna tie a single knot around here. There we go. And here's the one with all the rhinestones on it. Same card, just lots of bling happening. So of course you could do whatever you want. I also took my butterfly and I've got it glued down in the middle and I popped those each side up so that my butterfly is more 3D. Isn't that fun? Last but not least, we have envelopes. Here's what I did with my envelopes. We're gonna take the envelope with the diamonds on it, or I mean the embossing folder with the diamonds. Where did my envelope go? Right here. And we're going to put it into our embossing folder. Now you wanna make sure that your fold line is right where the uh, images or the embossed part ends because otherwise you'll get a little gap. But you can run this right through your machine this is going to decorate up our envelope, and I did that with both the embossing folders from the fun patterns. So we have this one, and we have this one. Isn't that fun? Quick and easy. I really, really love this hybrid folder, and I like the silicone brayer because it's harder than other brayers I've had. So it really stays on top of the images, doesn't squish down into them getting ink everywhere. So I really like these two. I hope you guys have enjoyed my brayer projects. And please know that if you're new to stamping or you're new to stamping up, or if you're new to me and you would like to get a hold of our catalogs, I would be happy to send them to you please pop me an email. My email address is kelly, I'll put it right here, kelly at stampabove.com. And ask for the catalogs, give me your address. If you're in the US, I'd be happy to send them to you. Also, you're gonna find my online store on my blog. This is my current host code. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Hit this link right up here, you guys, before you go. Click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Click up here to head over to my blog where you're going to find other Stampin' Up! demonstrators that are also using the same brayering and embossing folder. Not the same. They're using brayers and embossing folders for their projects today. And I can't wait to see what they made with this fun technique. You guys have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.